Isn't it true that demand is great for your products pretty much everywhere? You know, Jim, the ag cycle that we're currently experiencing is really strong. And, you know, you mentioned our construction business, the, uh, the infrastructure bill here in the United States really helped that, that segment. And we're seeing really demand from our dealers. I spent a lot of time talking to our dealers and our end user customers. And uh, demand continues to be really strong. I, I know it won't last forever, but, you know, we're, we're still seeing very strong demand on a global basis right now. You know, Europe's been a little bit weak. Obviously, the, the Ukraine situation and the, the energy situation caused from um, the gas, the lack of gas coming from, from Russia has been a bit of a, a challenge there. But, you know, even, even there, we can sell almost everything we can build. So pricing has stayed ahead of cost. And, uh, you know, we still, we like where the, the business is headed right now. Now, I, just to clarify Europe for people, uh, you divide Europe into two areas. One area is down 40%, but that's not the area that we really should be focused on. It's the Western European portion that is incredibly strong, correct? Western Europe continues to be strong. You know, they've got a little bit of a drought issue in certain regions right yeah. now. But, you know, overall, what we're seeing is, uh, is, is really reasonable demand. Even in Ukraine, we've had a better business in Ukraine than I would have ever expected this year, um, continuing to try to support those farmers uh, where we can. But really, uh, Western Europe uh, does continue to be a, a reasonably strong, not as strong as the, the North American or South American markets, but it's been reasonably strong for us. Well, let's go over there, Ukraine. First of all, a lot of people felt when the war started, Ukraine was shut down. That's clearly not the case. But second, can they pay you for this equipment? This equipment's not inexpensive. No, it's not inexpensive, but you know they've gotten a lot of aid that's helped support the payment for it. But uh, you know the farmers are still strong. I was surprised to see you know ninety one percent of uh, the the grain in in Ukraine was planted this year compared to to a year ago. So it's been a reasonably strong market. And fortunately, uh, a lot of people came together to help figure out how to get the product out of the country. It's it's certainly far far from ideal. And you know our, our hearts go out to the the people of Ukraine and the and the, the work that they're doing to save their country. But you know, certainly the, the farmers who continue to feed uh, the country are, are doing much better than I think we originally would have expected. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.